beautiful friends. I'm here. It's Miss Cassie to read you a story today. I hope you enjoy. Today's story is called Fast and Fury Racers, the Silver Serpent Cup. Can you see the front page? What do you think it's going to be about? Yes, there are fast race cars with wheels. There's a, it looks like a boat or a submarine in the water. There's even some airplanes or some um, transportation vehicles in the sky. Let's go ahead and read. Fast and Fury Racers, the Silver Serpent Cup. This book is by Jonathan Emmett and Ed Eaves. Today the town of Furriesville is a very noisy place, crammed with crowds of creatures getting ready for a race. The air is filled with honking horns and engines revving up as races Racers take their places for the Silver Serpent Cup. Do you know what a serpent is? Yes, a serpent is a snake. Can you say snake? Great job. From Furryville to Feather Point, a thousand miles away, this pack of eager animals will get there in one day. On the ground or in the air, floating or submersed, there's just one rule. To win this race, you have to come in first. Friends, we have some water transportation vehicles in our story. We have some land transportation vehicles and we also have some air transportation vehicles. All kinds of different vehicles are lined up at the start. Some are sleek and shiny, and some are not so smart. Everybody's ready, so the race can now begin. A siren sounds, and then they're off. And may the best beast win. Of all the racers on the road, the fastest one by far, is Roderick Von Rooster in his hot rod rocket car. While the other vehicles crowd together in a pack, the hot rod flies its booster and then zooms off down the track. Hurtling from the harbor and out across the bay, Stephanie Skedaddle goes swiftly on her way, whooshing through the water in her sleek and stylish boat. This seafaring sensation is the fastest thing afloat. Can you find Stephanie Skedaddle? Yes, yeah, she's right here. Creatures are competing underneath the ocean too, where a shoal of submarines is bolting through the blue. A shortcut through a shipwreck carried out at breakneck speed means that Ollie Octolini has leapt into the lead. Can you find Ollie Octolini? Yes, yeah, she is right here. Look at our friend Turtle. He is not being kind to his other friends. We're halfway through the race now and on dry land again, where Baron Billy Blackstripes is racing in a train. Where is the train? Yes, it's right up here. Spotting Roderick's hot rod on the highway up ahead, Billy roars right past him and takes the lead instead. The competition's getting fierce and high up in the sky, Ella Egghart's airplane has just come soaring by. As Feather Point comes into view, she has a beaky grin. Everyone's behind her, so surely she must win. Can you find Ella Egghart? Yes, yeah, she is right here. 
But if you think it's over, well, you'll have to think again. As rockets fly across the sky and blow up Ella's plane. <gasps> Sad. There's rockets flying everywhere. They're hitting everyone and blowing up their vehicles until all of them are gone. Can you see some different animals in this picture? I see two bats, one, two. I see a bear, even a fox, and a duck, and there's even an elephant over here. Who fired all those rockets? Well, the villain isn't far. It's awful Al McNasty in his armored aqua car. This ruthless, rotten reptile has a smug look on his face. With all the other vehicles gone, he's bound to take first place. Al's almost at the finish when he hears a rumbling sound and something big and pointy erupts out of the ground. The rockets miss one racer who ran the race unseen. And that was, can you guess who it might be? Max O'Moley in his tunneling machine. Max comes up through the finish line to thunderous applause and swiftly snatches victory from Al's astonished jaws. Of all the ways to win the race, Al's had to be the worst. So everyone's delighted that Max has come in first. Tonight, the town of Featherport's a very noisy place. As everybody celebrates a, more, a, a most momentous race and all the other animals whose vehicles were blown up Cheer for Max, the winner of the Silver Serpent Cup. Can you find Max? He's the one with the trophy for the Silver Serpent Cup. Right here. The end.